Thanks to the advances of science, technology, innovation throughout the Industrial Revolution of the 1800s, vehicles were becoming more predominant, not only in the United States, but in Britain, Europe, and throughout the world, such as trains, trolleys, river steamboats, already existing in Red Dead Online. But what if I told you that we could have even more motorized vehicles in Red Dead Online that would not violate the timeline that the game happens to exist in. At first, I thought this was kind of ridiculous. Motorbikes. Maybe bicycles, JDR. But once again, that has nothing to do with horses, but it would be a good, I guess, alternative form of transportation for players that don't want horses. I mean, obviously, bicycles were a thing in the late 1890s, and... Rockstar already has horse, I mean, bicycle mechanics from Grand Theft Auto Online. They like to pour it over their mechanics from one game to the next. I could foresee them eventually adding bicycles to Red Dead Online as a vehicle you could purchase and use to get around on instead of a horse. For those of you that rather have a bicycle over a horse, but I don't know if we're ever going to see motorcycles or even like uh, cars because there were like horse uh, vehicles that you know, were motorized in uh, the 1890s, but they were very, very, like, slow. And you're, you're better off with a horse anyways. So, I don't know. I, I seriously doubt we're going to have motorbikes in Red Dead Online JDR, but maybe at the very least, uh, bicycles. But then EMP left this comment defending JDR's idea about the Red Dead Redemption 2 motorcycles, here are three of the five that I know of that existed in the time of Red Dead Online. In 1867, a Roper Steam Velocipede. In Germany, there was the 1894 Hillebrand and Wolfmuller top speed 20 miles an hour. And then in 1896, the U.S. Roper Steam Velocipede had a top speed of 40 miles an hour. Early motorcycle-like contraptions were surprisingly fast and would be cool to have. They would be very expensive, yeah, definitely, and I would hope that there would be a lot of usefulness to them, uh, not ridiculous-looking modifications available. I'd rather throw a deer on the back of my steam velocipede and ride off into the sunset than ride a damn tree magnet of a horse. Just never put a Maxim gun on one of these things. That's going too far. So, yes, a bit of research that I've done on my own will confirm that the Velocipede steam-powered motorbikes did, in fact, exist in this time period. Therefore, we could technically eventually have some more motorized vehicles in the game. So I have a list of different vehicles that I and others would like to see eventually added to Red Dead Online. A lot of these, I would like some customization, but like EMP says, there's no need to go ridiculous, but at the end of the day, it's your Velocipede, it's your vehicle. We should be able to customize our vehicles to our heart's content, within reason, of course. So we'll start off with the Velocipede, the steam-powered motorbikes that EMP mentioned. I would say probably two of them would make the most sense. The 1894 Hillebrand uh, Wolfmuller from Germany, as well as the 1896 Roper. You could uh, add one or both of those into Red Dead Online. Maybe first with the uh, 1894 Hillebrand uh, Wolfmuller, which had a top speed of apparently 28 miles an hour, according to EMP. And then maybe later on, add the uh, 1896 Roper Steam Velocipede, which was even faster at a top speed of 40 miles per hour. So steam-powered motorbikes is a possibility in Red Dead Online, along with cars. Yes, there were actually cars. That existed in the 1890s. Nowhere near to the level that eventually they would reach thanks to Ford and factories and mass production. That was still not a thing and the technology for cars were very primitive in the 1890s. But there were actually some cars that existed that could appear in Red Dead Online. Such as in 1896, we had the uh, Bursay Electric. And then 1897, there were a few other cars as well, such as the Arnold Benz, the President, along with the Type 15 and 16 Pagats. So there were cars that you could theoretically eventually add for players to drive around with in Red Dead Online. Now, bear in mind, there would be a balancing factor to the cars, as well as the steam-powered Velocipede motorbikes, 
where they're probably pretty decent on road, maybe not very fast, nowhere near the speeds of say a supercar or a sports car of today, but there would be a little bit of a balance. Maybe the moment you take them off road, then you start to see the difference between how a car or a velocipad functions compared to say a top tier horse. Whereas most of the time players will prefer still riding around on a horse. But I do wanna see some customization as well as perhaps even some free mode activities tied to these various vehicles like checkpoints you can go after that would reward you with XP, perhaps money and nuggets of gold for uh, completing the checkpoints of a Velocipede or one of these cars, and perhaps even some races as well would be really cool. Now, there was also the bicycle craze of the 1890s, and this is definitely something that you could eventually see in Red Dead Online. Bicycles were becoming quite popular in the 1890s, and there's plenty of bicycle models from that time period that actually resemble bicycles of today that you could see players purchasing, customizing, and riding around the map of Red Dead Online in via a bicycle. So bicycles are definitely a vehicle that we could eventually have in Red Dead Online. Next, let's talk about some of the vehicles that are already in the game that we would like to have as personal vehicles and perhaps customize as well, such as the War Wagon, which is featured in one of the Land of Opportunity missions, has a Maxim gun on it. Maybe you can customize it between a Maxim gun or a Gatling gun or a cannon, and there's a you know, degree of armor on that wagon. You could probably use it for heists or for various missions, but it would only be able to take so much damage before it would ultimately get destroyed. So you have the war wagon as an option. Another thing I would like to see featured is eventually uh, buggies and racing buggies, and that would be great for uh, you know buggy racing because that was a thing in Red Dead Redemption 1. So you could have buggy racing as well in Red Dead Online. And when it comes to the racing, I would very much like for us to be able to race uh, with weapons disabled. Please, Rockstar, could you make that a thing? So, yeah, you could have racing buggies, regular buggies, chariots. I don't know, chariots may be going a little too far back, but stagecoaches, more different wagon types like the war wagon, then going into the water. Obviously, there's a variety of different boats that a lot of us have been wanting, such as our very own customized rowboat, a canoe, our... Case in point, a smaller steamboat. There's several different types of smaller steamboats riding around the Lanahatchee and Flatiron Lake. That would be awesome if we could have our very own. We could just call it up through the interaction menus, similar to all these other vehicles. And we could always have a boat to use for a daily or to go fishing in, or perhaps even have boat races too. That would be awesome, like rowboat races as well as steamboat races. The riverboat would be an interesting idea. I don't know if that would work as a uh, vehicle, probably more like a property similar to yachts. So you could have your own steamboat or riverboat more or less, and you would have your own room in it. You would have like a, maybe a poker table or a blackjack table, some other mini games, other activities you could do via the uh, riverboat. And similar to the yachts, you could move it around the map from different points uh, throughout the Lanahatchee, the north by Ansburg, uh, Van Horn, all the way down by San Denis, as well as throughout uh, Flatiron Lake and all the way out to the uh, San Luis River out in New Austin. So a riverboat is definitely an idea for a property as opposed to being a quote unquote vehicle. Now we've gone from the ground with the Velocipede motorbikes, cars from that time period, as well as bicycles, wagons, buggies, to uh, various boat types. Now we shall reach for the skies in Red Dead Online, while at the same time keeping with the current time period, which some of you may find rather difficult to believe. Yes there were contraptions in the sky, such as obviously hot air balloons, and there were even uh, blimps, uh, zeppelins at this point, even though they, the technology becomes more advanced uh, following the next decade into the 20th century, but there still were very early types of blimps and airships and zeppelins that existed in the 1890s, so you could have that along with the uh, hot air balloons. The problem with the hot air balloon is unlike a blimp or a zeppelin or an airship, Whereas you can navigate through the skies like a boat, the hot air balloon is completely dependent on the wind. So it would be the wind that would push your hot air balloon around the map, unless Rockstar decided to you know, make the hot air balloon function similar to a blimp, zeppelin, airship, which is a possibility. Video games, after all. But there is another option. No, not aeroplanes. 
the airplane didn't officially take flight until the Wright brothers came along. But before that, there were innovators when it came to gliders. Yes, gliders did in fact exist in the 1890s. In fact, there were someone that was very famous, uh, Lithanol, who uh, broke several records with the uh, gliders. Uh, the Durwitzer glider, I believe, was the most famous one uh, in 1891 and even in 1895. It was only up in the air for uh, several feet, like 85 feet total, I think. But at the same time, gliders could also be a thing and read it online. The way I would envision a glider working is you would once again call it through the interaction menu. You could customize it as well at the stable. I guess all these vehicles could be at the stable since there's now a vehicle category at the stables. Why not? And then whenever you want to call up your glider, depending on where you are, New Austin, as well as uh, you know West Elizabeth, Lemoyne, Amberina, wherever you happen to be, you would call up your glider to the interaction menu, and then you would just magically spawn in the skies above Red Dead Online and just you know float around to your heart's content. Eventually, you would reach the ground, and then once you reach the ground, then your glider would despawn, then you'd be able to call back in your horse, your velocipede motorbike, your bicycle, your car, whatever you happen to use for ground transport. So gliders could very well be a thing in Red Dead Online. Plus, once again, uh, some free roam activities could be added to the glider, such as checkpoints you'd have to hit in the sky for XP, money, gold, and they could even have glider races similar to the parachute races in Grand Theft Auto Online. So there you go, some vehicle ideas that could actually eventually become a thing in Red Dead Online that would kind of stay true with the timeline that the game exists in 1898. These things were real. In 1898, these vehicles that we just went over actually did exist in that world. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that we could see the war wagon, racing buggies, different types of boats that we could own and customize, as well as bicycles, cars from that time period, steam velocipede motorbikes, as well as even hot air balloons, airships, blimps, zeppelins, and yes, gliders in Red Dead Online. As long as it's balanced properly, like EMP said, I do envision a lot of these vehicles coming with a price tag along with the uh, customization, which would mean even more money out of our pockets. However, it would just be more vehicles for us to own and use and enjoy in Red Dead Online. But at the same time, I agree, I don't want anything ridiculous with these vehicles. I don't want any death gliders flying around. Just a standard glider that would be fun for those of you that want to take to the friendly skies of Red Dead Online and fly to the heavens just like an eagle or an owl. Just don't get too close to the sun or you'll end up like Icarus. <laughs> So anyways, those are some ideas for vehicles that could eventually make their way into Red Dead Online. Is there any of those vehicles that you would like to personally customize and own? And if there's any vehicles I left out, or if there's a vehicle you never want to see added to Red Dead Online, feel free and share your views, your thoughts, your opinions, and ideas regarding future vehicles in Red Dead Online below in the comments section.